So hi, hello and welcome again. I'm Oliver and uh, what I want to do today is I want to test those four microtome knives. This one over here is uh, 3D printed, uh, homemade. Um, however, those here are two commercial microtome knives and this is a, a shaving knife uh, for a barber. And I would like to test those and as you can see, <laughs> this looks pretty pretty sad already. Um, and what I'd like to do is the following. I've got a piece of uh, fairly hard oak wood over here, uh, sub uh, submersed in glycerin. Uh, to soften it and I would like to test now those four knives and I would like to see which one is able to cut uh, the wood best uh, for microscopy, okay? Um, so which microtome will I be using? I've got one over here. This one is uh, the microtome that I'll be using. You can see you can put it over here into a table and in here this is the specimen holder and I also 3D printed a couple of specimen holders here. Um, it will become clear very quickly of uh, how they're going to be used because the piece of wood will be um, inserted it into one of those uh, um, holders over here and then the whole thing goes into the into the microtome and for those of you who don't know what a microtome is um, by turning the screw down here I'm able to advance the specimen upwards uh, little by little so that I basically can use a knife and cut um, uh, across it okay and I would uh, simply like to uh, see now which uh, knife uh, works best and uh, I can already uh, assume that probably these here are not going to work so well because look at this I mean this is pretty <laughs> a pretty bad yeah so this is not something that I made but it actually came came like that um, yeah it's probably gonna be pretty useless it's not even smooth uh, the edge here um, but we're gonna see right um, and um, as a matter of fact I can already tell you right now my favorite one up to this point is this one over here um, it's able to produce uh, quite uh, quite good results but I have to put it together first okay so that goes on top here by the way if you um, also want to um, download the, the file oh it's the other way around um, if you also want to download the file, um, yeah, please check the links uh, below. You can download an STL file if you want to, and then there are two screws that uh, go in here. So, and number two. And uh, what I've done is the following. I've actually made uh, yeah, those uh, holes here a little bit uh, deeper so that the screws, they don't stand out. So otherwise they would scratch uh, the surface of the microtome, um, but because they're now a little bit deeper, it, yeah, it's also not gonna scratch. So I'm going to connect this now to the table and then let's, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, so here it is. Um, over here, this is uh, the specimen holder, right? Uh, with the piece of wood inserted here, okay? And uh, I'm now going to put it into the microtome like this. And we will push it all the way down. Okay. Yeah, so here it is. And uh, I'm now going to start, uh, let, let's move the microphone over here as well. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to start cutting it. Uh, so let's uh, try, try this knife here <laughs> first. Uh, so that's the one over here. Yeah, yeah with this little damaged part here. So let's see if I'm able to make a, a cut and actually not. <laughs> actually it's not even, yeah, it actually ripped it a little bit even. Yeah, I think uh, it becomes very clear um, already that this is not going to work well. I'm going to advance it a little bit upwards. Let's give it a second try. No, it's not even high enough, enough yet. Yep. Let's see. No, it rips it more than it actually cuts. Yeah. So um, I'm going to do the following now. I'm going to put it up. I bumped into it. I'm going to put it now on a microscope slide. And then let's um, have a look at it under the microscope. So let's now try. Uh, now let's try this knife over here. The one with the black handle. Oh, this was already a little bit too thick. Let's give it another try. Yeah, this works already much better. Okay. So that's uh, the second one. So now let's uh, try the one, um, yeah, the barber, the barber one. Now holding, uh, of course, the knife at the correct angle is, is uh, critical. Yeah. So, okay, here is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, six stops. I'm turning it. Yeah, you see, this one is uh, also uh, this one also works uh, fairly well because it's a fairly sharp blade. Oh, look, this one actually might be fairly thin. So let's uh, put this here under the microscope. 
Um, it's not a complete cross section, unfortunately. Um, but let's give it another try. Okay, this might be a bit better. Here it is. Yeah, and uh, last but not least, uh, let's uh, try this one here. This one actually has the advantage that I'm able to put it directly very flat uh, on the um, on the microtome. So, one. Yeah, see, I'm still sliding over it, so it did not advance enough. Yeah, this one cuts very smoothly and very lightly. This was a very thin one now. Yeah. So th I think uh, I like uh, this one as expected uh, the most. Uh, first of all, I have a lot of stability because the angle of the blade is always the same. Um, it's a sharp blade, of course, and uh, because it's a disposable one, I don't have to sharpen it. Um, but let's uh, put some of those now under the microscope here as well. I mean, just that under the microscope, we have to put it first, of course, on the, um, on the slide. Here it is, um, and I'm now not going to use. I'm now not going to use a uh, uh, a cover glass. I'm just going to have a first look, uh, simply uh, like this, uh, and we're going to see uh, if we're able to see some kind of a difference. So what we're what I'll be looking at now is is how dark uh, is the specimen because the darker it is, the thicker it is. Of course, there's always a little bit of a statistical variation. So this is uh, was cut with the first uh, knife. You can see that the edges are a little bit uh, ripped um, as well. Um, and uh, if you look at see the rainbow colors, that's because of the optics that I'm using right now. Yeah. So basically, uh, again, this is not uh, using any any mounting medium or water. The second one, this uh, knife was already a little bit better. You can see that, uh, yeah, um, over here that the individual cells are now a little bit visible already, and the specimen is also not quite as torn as the first one. Um, this one over here is uh, the barber knife. Uh, yeah, I, I've uh, unfortunately cut it a little bit uh, diagonally, or, or yeah. Um, so it's thicker down here and thinner down um, up here. Yeah. And this one over here, that is uh, the one that uh, yeah I used to where I used the razor blade with a 3D printed holder. And this is how it looks like here. You see, it's very uniform, yeah, very consistent. Um, and indeed, this is um, actually just a, a simple demonstration um, of uh, something that I've already known because I've been testing those knives already before. And indeed, the, the razor blade one actually um, yeah, worked uh, up to this point uh, uh, the best. Um, I'm, I just want to show you a couple of other um, things here that uh, I realized. Just a second. Now, when we look at when we look at the razor blade now, then you can actually see that about four or five millimeters are kind of, of the blade is visible. This means that uh, when I cut the specimen, then the cross section is able to glide um, on the surface uh, on the top surface um, of the blade. Look at this over here in contrast. Now, this one over here is much more narrow, um, and therefore there is the danger that when you cut it, actually. Um, uh, it gets stuck here on the on the black edge. This uh, knife here has, however, a disposable blade. So this means that when it becomes dull, then you can easily exchange it. Um, however, I think it's a little bit not quite as easy to use because you have to adjust the angle uh, um, as well. This one over here, as expected, is, is completely useless. Uh, we can just basically throw it away. Um, and this one over here is better. It uh, came along also with a slightly better microtome. However, those knives do have the disadvantage that they have to be sharpened uh, from time to time and I'm not uh, able to do that or at least I don't have the know-how to do that and this is the reason why I decided to, to actually um, move over to disposable blades. Now the blade holder, the 3D printed one, is quite important because otherwise the blade itself would be too flexible. Right, um, and that is actually also the reason why I um, chose. Oops, I have to be careful that I don't cut myself. This one over here, because it's also, even though the blade itself is flexible, because it is uh, basically um, inserted in here, um, it's still very rigid now, um, and this gives you also more consistent cuts. So my suggestion would be indeed uh, to um, experiment around with uh, disposable blades, and uh, yeah, um, and I found this one to be um, yeah the most uh, the most. Uh, consistent one, right? I just uh, want to open it again and I just want to show you why this, why this is uh, um, so important um, because you see that there is a certain angle here, right? So this means um, that uh, the blade will actually press um, against, will press against lightly against the surface of the, um, of the microtome. Huh? So it will bend up slightly and in here um, when you open it up then you can actually of course see the, uh, the blade um, and it can be um, also um, of course, uh, turned around. Huh? 
Uh, so, um, and you can also see here now how extremely flexible it is. Yeah, and this is something that uh, yeah makes it unsuitable without a without a holder. Okay, so I just wanted to share this uh, with you a little bit, uh, my experiences, and again, if you uh, also would like to um, experiment around with that, uh, in the description, um, I put a link uh, to the SDL file um, of this uh, um, yeah, holder in case you're, you're interested in trying it out yourself. Um, yeah, for me, that's, that's all I just want to share with you uh, today. This was just a very first uh, qualitative um, experiment. Um, my general advice is, is um, also that if you want to make good uh, microtome cross-sections that you go by trial and error um, and uh, what I usually do is, is I make many cuts 10 20 30 of them and then um, I simply choose uh, the best ones right and I've not done this now it was simply a a quick uh, quick demonstration um, to to show you uh, that indeed you know this one over here is is actually pretty bad yeah I wish you all the best uh, happy microbe hunting as always uh, see you around in the next video bye bye